<laughs> hey there. Okay, well, today we're looking at lighters, which seems like the perfect day to actually light this tobacco pipe, but I can't. I have an insurance examination coming up to raise my life insurance, so I can't have tobacco in my system. So, we're gonna go lightless as we talk about lighters. Now, if you watch this channel for a while, you know that my personal favorite lighter to use on a tobacco pipe or a cigar or anything else is a big fat torch lighter which drives so many people crazy but today i'm not necessarily just talking about torch lighters wow this thing is full of tobacco i did not realize that uh today we're looking at multiple lighters well at least the most popular lighters which in my book are the soft flame matches which is also a soft flame and of course my favorite Tap, tap, tap. The torch lighter. <sighs> Let's start with the classic. The most common, old school, maybe not popular, but at least the most classic way of lighting your tobacco pipe, which is with a match. Now to begin with, when it comes down to matches, I'm a big baby. I don't like fire <laughs> on my hands. So I like these matches that are, you know, the, the hard kind. Rather, you know the little like pack of matches you get for free? I don't like those because you have to stick your fingers so close. doesn't matter. Point is, uh, a match, I guess going, okay, okay, hold on. Let's go through a pros and cons list of each of these lighter types and describe, in my opinion, in my experience, what these pros and cons are. Starting with, Matches. We'll start with the pros, the advantages of matches. The most obvious one is that it's cool. It's classic. Back to the olden times of Bing Crosby. He'd always light his tobacco pipe with a match in the movies. In case you and Phil are worried about the welfare of a certain Vermont innkeeper. Kind of end up doing this sort of thing. I mean, hey, hey, we can do it. Oh gosh, I just broke the stinking match. Anyways, the other potential pro I think you could give it is that you can get very particular as to where you want the light to hit within your bowl. And it also is kind of a nice soft way of lighting your bowl. You could argue that it's a little bit better because it gets a little deeper into the bowl because you, you really have to pull the flame in. You have to draw it in with your air. As you draw in, the flame gently pulls itself into the bowl. Outside of it looking cool though, I think there's a long list of cons with the matches. They go out very easily. Most of the time I smoke a tobacco pipe, it's outside. Matches don't like light breezes, so they tend to go out easy. Or like this just happened, it broke as I lit it. Gosh, I just broke the stinking match. And it's kind of a process to pull out the match box, take a match out, find something to light it on, light it, that one goes out, grab another match, light it, that match broke, grab another one, light it up, finally I got it. Get your hand over there, and then oops, it went out. It's just a hassle, and you have to do that multiple times. The idea with the pipe is that it's relaxing, it's calming, and the matches uh, can get in the way of that. They can be a hindrance in my book. Let's go to the next one. The soft flame, what are they called? <laughs> I'm back. Uh, it's a butane lighter. I thought so. Anyways. Hey, before we go any further, let me know in the comments, what's your favorite kind of lighter for your tobacco pipe and why? I know everyone's gonna tell me why you shouldn't use a torch lighter on a pipe. Whatever. Okay, so the big pro, big advantage to these soft flame lighters for me is that they look and sound awesome. Listen to this. These things are super cool, and you can get some really elaborate, awesome looking ones. The other advantage is that you can be very, like the flame, be very specific with where you want to light within your bowl. It's also, supposedly, doesn't burn up the top of your bowl, which people complain about with the uh, torch lighters, that it's just blowing your bowl away. <coughs> <sighs> <coughs> uh. Anyways. They also say that the, the gas inside of a torch lighter just, well, we'll get to that, okay? You're jumping ahead. 
Just calm down. Let's keep it simple. Let's keep it focused, okay? So these, uh, you won't get looked down upon if you're using one of these in a group of smokers who hate torch lighters like me. Overall, I mean, these are, these are great, but uh, there's some downsides and reasons that I don't like to use these. Number one, same as the match, you can't use these if there's any kind of real breeze. Even a, a lightish kind of breeze and you have to sit there and try to block any kind of wind because they just, they need to be like used inside. <coughs> what is in my throat? The other thing I don't like about these is that they look amazing and look complicated. They generally are. There's usually a lot more to replace on these, to fix up. <coughs> Why doesn't my voice want me to talk? <coughs> <laughs> Trying to speak right now is representative of a soft flame lighter. It just needs more attention. They're finicky. They're annoying. They don't work if it's windy. Ugh. They're just annoying. If I want to pipe, I just want to go out and light the thing. I don't want to sit there and realize, oh, I need more butane or I need to add a finky figure bear and this thing adds a bit. Just, ugh. I, they're annoying to me. Third and final. My favorite. My pick. Torch. Say what you want about the torch lighter, and I know you will in the comments, but this to me is by far the best. A couple of big advantages with the torch lighter that I found. One is that you don't need the flame to be in the bowl to work. With the match, with the soft lighter, you have to get the flame right there in the bowl and pull it in, which I know you'll say is like the advantage, but these, you don't even have to touch the flame to the bowl. You can keep it up really high and light the thing without the flame even technically touching it. You can also get pinpoint accuracy with these things because while some of them do have wide flames, like three flames, you can get ones like this that just has a very needle-like pinpointed flame to light up exactly the area that you want to light up, which I think is a big advantage. The other thing, of course, is that you can use these in a windstorm. You can be in a tornado and use this thing to light your pipe because it's probably gonna be your last if you're that close to a tornado. They're also dead simple to use. You fill them with the liquid and that's it. They last with the liquid depending on how much you smoke. I mean, I can get a good solid month out of these easy without even touching it. Every time lights up perfectly, dead simple, always works. And you can get some really cool ones like this one from Guevara. Guevara, by the way, I wanted to thank Guevara because they've sent me Every lighter that I have is a Guevara lighter now. And I, they sent them to me free of charge, just to be honest, but I stinking love them. They're super cool design. They work every time. This sounds like an ad. It's not, they didn't ask me to sell their, their lighters. It's Guevara, G-U-E-V-A-R-A. <sighs> Anyways, in the end, it doesn't matter what lighter you use in my book, as long as you get the thing lit and you enjoy the experience. It's all about enjoying that tobacco or cigar or bourbon, which I wouldn't recommend using a lighter with, but you know, you could light up your bottle of bourbon, do what you want. Those are the sounds of our 200 year old tobacco farm being renovated. Just like the lighters that we use, a lot of people think and do things differently than I do. Different value systems, they raise their kids differently, they see the world differently than I do, and it bugs the heck out of me sometimes. It drives me crazy. The reality is though, most of those people who drive me crazy, they believe that I'm crazy. Take two sets of parents trying to raise their kids, but raising them very differently. They might drive each other nuts, and they might both think that the other one is idiotic. In the end, probably both are and are not to some extent. Nobody really knows anything about anything. It's easy to pick apart other people who think differently than us, because it's annoying. It's annoying when people tell me, you should, uh, you should stop using that torch lighter, you idiot. And I think, no, you're the idiot. I can use a torch lighter. We like to put people in boxes. It's easier that way. It's easier to just put a group of people who think a certain way into a box and say, this is what they think, this is who they are, and I hate them, and they're stupid, and I'm right, and my group of people in this box, they're the right ones. In the end, we're all idiots. None of us know what we're doing with anything. And at the end of the day, even if one of us is right, what does it matter? We're all gonna die and it doesn't matter anyways. I'm not saying let's all get along. I think there are some real morons out there who should be stopped, but 
In general, if you get most people, most people are trying to do the best that they can for their kids and for their family. And just because their way of doing the best they can looks a whole lot different than yours and drives you crazy, honestly, doesn't mean that they're wrong. Doesn't mean that they're doing it worse than you. Just means that we're born into a world where we like to feel that we're right and we're superior to somebody else. It's been going on forever and it's not gonna change, so I don't know what the point of this video is. So that's great. Hope you feel good. That was terrible. Anyways, if you like this kind of video, talk about tobacco pipes and some guy meanders and talks through thoughts that aren't well thought out, like the channel, won't you? Subscribe, do all the things that YouTube wants you to do. I would sure appreciate it. Comment, watch the video all the way through, and um, let me know why I'm an idiot. And I'll let you know why you're an idiot. And then we can smoke together and laugh and get in a fight, I don't know. All right, thanks for watching.